Greetings. Um, guten Tag. Tala Falaga. Bonjour. Uh, this is Dr. Snow Brown uh, speaking to my Snow Can Club congregation. It is nice to catch up with all of you again. I hope you are noticing some new changes, new additions um, to my CKCTV number two and the YouTube channel. I think you will notice it. There's a lot of um, additions going on and, and there's a lot of movement and a lot going on inside my CKCTV number two channel. So my name under my so-called kingdom, the registered company, is Dr. Snow Brown. I am a natural Norfolk pastor, a meek natural Norfolk pastor. I own a kingdom that I use and registered as Christa Kingdom Church TV Limited. It is an interactive church TV, as well as a private company and a private mourner. That is correct. And the name of my congregation is the Snow Can Club Congregation. And the manual, so uh, so this is a new faith this is a new faith it's a reborn faith it's a meek reborn faith that's correct so the head of our kingdom or our church Christa Kingdom Church or Christa Kingdom Church TV limited is Queen Snow Brown the sovereign head so now the person who owns the intellectual property is El Marilia Eileen Trevoranis. Now, hopefully next year, my names will change to my natural noble pastor status or knighthood, Dr. Snow Brown. Now, the manual that I use often as guidance is my play, is my play. That is our manuscript for the reborns Snow Can Club congregation or the Snow Sheep, Snow Shepherds, the 100 and uh, Knights and Chiefs, the 150 Days War program, the Fresh Little Munchkins, Fresh Lot, Sorry Lots that forms the Snow Can Club congregation. So the new covenant, remember the first covenant was the Ten Commandments. The second covenant was the um, Holy Communion and Holy Communion, the New Testament. Now, the third third covenant, actually, sorry, excuse me. Um, si vous plaît, yeah, excuse, uh, excuse the si vous plaît. Um, that, that's right, so the first covenant uh, with God's people, of course, being the Christians, uh, the very first Christian was the Israelites, was the Ten Commandments. The second covenant is the Holy Communion, Holy Communion, or the baptism, the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Communion, the New Testament, Jesus. The third covenant are my rules, are my rules. That's correct. So my kingdom seems to be outside the main kingdom. Yes, it is. So in other words, I'm on a different planet. I'm on a new planet. I'm independent. I, I am on my own olive tree. I am not attached to the main olive tree. There are only two olive trees. That's correct. One that represents the Gentiles and one that represents the Jews. But of course, my particular olive tree is a natural branch. It's a natural tree. A natural olive tree. On my own kingdom, in my own kingdom. It's called Crystal Kingdom. Now, there are many flocks out there. There are many denominations. But they form the one body. They form the one body, being the body of Christ. That's great. And they come together to form one church, which is the God family. Jesus, a church that, that comes through Jesus, that comes through Jesus. Uh, his one vineyard, vineyard. There's only one vineyard. 
but all the different flocks, different denominations, they form a branch of the one main tree, the near uh, vine, vine, that's correct. Now, of course, my, as I said, my faith is a meek faith and it's a new flock and a new faith. And it's called Christo Kingdom Church TV. And it's interactive, but it's because it's a Knights Templar faith. That's correct. So we don't only, I don't only take uh, the, the, the teachings of the Bible, I, I back, I also support the teachings of the Bible, but at the same time, um, we, I accept people, gay, gay Christians, as well as people that might have committed a bestiality, bestiality, so sufilia, sufilia, that's correct, amen, amen. So my faith is outside the main church. That is correct. That is correct. It is not done inside the Holy Temple. And this makes sense because, well, I am a Knights Templar. A different kind of Knights Templar. So if you see that there are so many animal videos inside my Crystal Kingdom. Number two, that's correct, in the YouTube channel. Don't be surprised. Well, you have to consider that our Lord uh, was born in where? He was born among farm animals in a manger, in a stable, or they say it was in a cave. I think the story is that he was born among animals. That's correct. So if you see so many animals in my ministry, it, it does make sense. It does make sense. Mm. And I have actually confessed to you all this, that formerly before my baptism, this was when I was very young, and even back in those days, uh, before I would say, before the before I received my guide, me to some mama, at the age of 22, beginning of 1995, I committed, I committed the bestiality sins, which was having sex with a cat and a dog, that's correct. So when you come into my kingdom, remember this is, I'm a reborn, I'm a reborn, natural noble pastor so i have immunity i have immunity I, in fact it's not that i have immunity, i have earned immunity because i have my own kingdom my own flock my own manual my own covenant rules that's correct so and i have also round tables that's correct so this is also a private monarch ministry that is correct but if you come inside, like I said, uh, in, in my congregation, I would accept people that committed the bestiality sins. Now, they, they, I will have to put a limit you, you, if you wanted to become a reborn. I would accept that. I would accept you. But on the, the, the proviso that you didn't continue on, that's right. You turned away, you repented, and you turned away. Because part of my faith is that we do not commit sins. That's correct. We will repent and turn away from it. But because I'm a monarch, I'm a king in my own right, that's great. I have special privileges, which I shall not be teaching any of you at the moment because uh, this, is this is a private monarch. But in general, as a ministry, there is everybody is welcome to come inside and access my, inter, my CKCTV. Uh, number two, that's correct, on the YouTube channel, but on the proviso that you're going to have some considerations and manners as well, that you won't try and overtake me, overthrow my so-called, that's correct, or let alone apply you arbitrary dictatorship, so any, anything that amounts to satanic, demonic, depraved, um, <clears throat> what do you call it, arbitrary dictatorships, hmm. I am the owner of my private company. The government of New Zealand doesn't own my private, more not my private kingdom, my private company. Um, in, in fact, I have a right as a noble, as a meek noble. What do I mean by a noble? I'm a full royal or somebody who has ascended to a throne or a monarch, the alone wears a crown, an invisible crown. 
That's exactly what it means to be um, a noble, a member of the crown, or actually in this case, I am the crown itself. That's correct. So when you're coming to use my access, my intellectual property, do not do any, do not commit any crimes in it. Do not do anything to try and, uh, you know, to dictate to me because at the moment I'm still very single, but I have a guiding angel, Sablama, and an archangel uh, who do a lot of work for me, as well as my six Holy Ghost children who are part of my ministry part of this intellectual property so I'm actually a natural noble pastor that's me and so if my intellectual property is called a CKC TV or Crystal King Church TV limited it's a ministry it's a ministry it's a church but but what there is there is a lot of room there, there is liberal there, there, yeah there seems to be a lot of freedom movement a lot of uh, what do you call it? A leeway, a leeway. Mm. Uh, but as you can see, people that are non-believers, non-Christians, are likely to access, are likely to access somehow to enter my crystal kingdom, my intellectual property or my YouTube channel without realizing, without knowing, without realizing that there is, this has nothing to do with being a non-Christian has more to do with being a reborn Christian, that's great. And, and, and you know, delivering you, and even, uh, say if you're lost, and you've left, if you, you've gone astray, and you've left the faith, and you've you've gone from, say, you've left other Christian denominations, and so forth. Part of my, my, my intellectual property is to bring you back into the flock, or into a flock. To reconcile, reconcile you with God and Jesus. But in my case, it's a different level. It's on a different level. This is a much more advanced level, but meek. And I think children would get my intellectual property very well. That's correct. Hmm. But now you all know. Why Queen Snow Brown? That's correct. Rides, well, in the play, right at the end of it, why she rides on a flying tiger, whose name is... Tiger the Leo, Leo the Tiger, or the Leo the Tiger, that's correct. Because she loves animals, that's correct. And if you come into my intellectual property, you'll see the Queen Snowbound. She must love animals. Yes, she does. She loves animals. And she loves people that are unique and special. And what I mean by that, people that are gay, that's correct, but are special and unique in their own way. So don't be offended if you if you chose if you took the risk to enter my so-called intellectual property and you didn't know that you have to be a reborn Christian or you have to be a Christian or you have to have some sort of something on that on that along those lines, that's correct. In order to get the full benefits. But if you're coming in as a non-believer. As a non-Christian. And you're going to take offense. To anything that I'm dealing with issues and what not. Inside my kingdom. I'm sorry you're entering. You're trespassing. You're trespassing. You're actually trespassing. That's correct. Anyway. I want to take this moment to read this a short um a very short brief sermon tribute to a very special young uh, young girl young child uh whose video um uh, that i came across uh by the name of emily emily barton that you now all are getting to know emily that's great and her special family uh seem to be you know artists as well that's great um, I want to read this special tribute. Um, it's a preaching, as I say, it's a sermon in tribute of Emily Barton, who um, I have just gotten to know. And I really thoroughly enjoyed her uh, video regarding the sharing of her dragon painting, which was, I hope you all enjoyed that. I certainly did. Well, I shared it with you all in the community category 
of my CKC TV number two. So I'm going to read this tribute. So Emily, I want to say thank you very much. Hmm, merci beaucoup. But I'm going to read this special uh, tribute in your honor. In fact, you'll see what I mean towards the end. All right, here it goes. Holy Ghost, how we want you. You got the power that we need. Make us an instrument for God's glory. Let your light be the spark to ignite the fires of grace in all the shadows and dark places in our lives. Today I preach a new gospel, one that decrees gratitude with gladness. For the heavens did open when they witnessed a special young accomplished artist, Emily Barton of Thailand, and her beautiful dragon painting paintings. Behold the beauty of life so pure and precious, nurtured with fruits of the spirit, so young, so tender, yet so wise beyond her years. Truly a remarkable hidden treasure that is an extraordinary exemplary example of the glory and power of God in young talent so rare but a ray of sunshine to every child uh, needing joy happiness and a love for art I wish every parent on this planet were like Emily Emily's cherished parents who devoted every waking moment, time, money, gifts, and resources to not forsake the golden gift from the gods above Emily Barton. What parent uh, what parent would not make sacrifices for a golden child like Emily Barton. Praise be to Jesus and glory to God for such rare miracles, who created us in his image. For a second miracle was witnessed by all of us when Emily's dad, Paul Barton, uh, played the Debussy Claire de Luna on the piano for an 80-year-old elephant. And the elephant responded with teary eyes and sniffles. A rare sight to behold from a creature who is a gentle giant but with a human heart. Glory to God. Alleluia. To end this sweet short sermon or tribute to Emily Barton, um, today I want to say in French, Merci beaucoup. Thank you, Princess Emily Barton for showing your beautiful dragon paintings and inviting us into your lovely family to enjoy your cherished hidden treasures and passions in art. Thank you very much. Feeling dunk. May Queen Snow Brown, God and Jesus bless you, Princess Emily Barton, and your beautiful family 1,000 times Seraphim angels, blessings, miraculous healings, protections, and dragon, rainbow, cherubim, blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. 
In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, I hope you enjoy that short, brief tribute to Emily Barton. I certainly did. Well, I wrote it without thinking. Hmm. I hope you all have a nice uh, week. Enjoy a nice, restful, peaceful week. A blessed week. A and the rest of this month. Hmm. And I hope you are catching on with my style of preaching as a meek natural pastor. And also, if you'll notice that the prayer is correct, our mother, being Queen Snow Brown, a different yeah, it, it's been amended slightly. But I mean, you don't have to, you know, pray that prayer. But that is what my Knights and Chiefs must learn to um, learn by heart. Learn by heart. In fact, when the Knightings, when they come to my Knightings, well, whatever I ask them to do inside my kingdom, they must do. If not, they will not be qualified enough to be knighted as one of my knights and chiefs. I guess I'll leave you with this. This is just an example. If all you do, whether irrespective of whether you're a reborn Christian or a non-believer, but if all you do is watch children's cartoons as opposed to porn or some other satanic depraved you know type of a film or type of genre and all you do is apply my rules and you don't commit any crimes is it are you likely to, to to enter my kingdom when you pass on to the spirit world or, or when you want to attend my nightings are you likely to qualify? Well, if I ask you, can you provide a criminal, your criminal record? And it ticks all the boxes. Do you think I'm going to say no? Right. That's all I need to leave you with. But you all have a very nice morning, week, and rest of the month. And thank you for lending your ears your eyes, and even your hearts, in, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.